All right. How's everybody doing out there tonight in Webland? My name is Antonio. They call me Hey Dude. And you have tuned in to How Did We Get Here? Right here on TalkSlamRadio.com. And, of course, I've got my cohorts, Tow Truck, Anna Chaos, and Mr. Mention. And we will be back right after this message. Stick around. We've got a good show for you and a lot of music. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. You're listening to TalkSlamRadio.com. From our studios to the world, we bring you the finest in quality entertainment. So grab a beverage, put out the Do Not Disturb sign, and settle in for another fine show from TalkSlamRadio.com. And everybody... Be sure to talk into your microphones. <laughs> yes, you guys. <laughs> My microphone is sad. <clears throat> Listen, her microphone needs my Are we on? Keep Are we on? We're on. Hey! How Tell do you like that? that? I was out. I was up in front. Now I'm in back. Uh-huh. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Once again, my name's Antonio. They call me Hey Dude. Starting out from my left, it is James Richard, aka Tow Truck. What's happening, Tow Truck? Oh, well, as well as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's getting ready for Christmas. I am. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. we have just now been transported into the Star Wars. Mm, that's right. And right to my left is Anna Chaos, hey. our pop culturist. What's happening with you? Buenote. Buenote, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and to my right, Mr. Andrew Reed, a.k.a. Mr. Mention, our music musician extraordinaire. What's happening, Mr. Mention? Well, everything is blessed, you know? Everything it is, is isn't blessed. it? Yes, absolutely. It is. I tell you, no matter how far you get kicked down, there's always somebody to help pick you up. It's a natural mistake, you know? It, <laughs> that is for sure. Somebody proves that to me for sure, and that's Anna tonight. Uh, my God, I have a lot to be thankful for, that's for sure. And that means good friends, uh, that's for sure. But uh, before Everybody we... out there is going, what does she do? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, that's true. I didn't think about that, man. Like, uh, Tom, hey, how you doing, Tom? <laughs> Tom? Tom? No. I'll tell you what, before we get started, though, um, I would like all of us to take just a moment, uh, a brief moment, uh, to say our prayers in silence for the uh, people that died and uh, children that died in uh, Newton, Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, so a moment of uh, silence for a little bit for them. And everybody can say their prayers out there at home for them. And on we will also. All right, coming back to you. This show is all about having fun, but of course, it is a show called How Did We Get Here? And uh, boy, oh boy, how did we get here? Really, if that, if that, me calling this show How Did We Get Here, if that ever had a ringing tone to it, it certainly was what happened last week. Uh, we're not going to dwell on a situation, but uh, everybody's got to take care of everybody. All of us, all of us on this, on this, platform right here have often said almost every show i think you'll agree mr mention anna and tow truck that we always say be your brothers and sisters keeper and take care of one another uh because you just don't know so taking care of each other is uh where it's at and i wish a lot more people would reach out and help those that are in need um because uh sometimes we have to uh be aware of our surroundings. Mm -hmm. I had a friend of mine named Simon uh, yesterday. uh, He said that, and uh, he said, well, you should know that, you know, martial arts and everything, and and he's correct. We should all be aware of our surroundings, and I don't know what it has to do. Maybe people are losing it all around the world because there's a lot more things that are going on right now. People are flipping out, and I don't know if it's because of the Mayan calendar. Uh, Mm -hmm. Chime in, guys. What do you guys think here? I mean, mean, really, I mean, mean, I'm not going to get doom and gloom because this show is not about that, but 
is the Mayan calendar having something to do because people are flipping out so bad that they think the end is coming that they're 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 lashing out at at, at innocent people? I mean, a child. Well, I'm, well come on. it's it's a, it's a problem here in the U.S. At any time you have it, news here is extremely negative. I mean, it's like every time I turn on the TV and I bless bless you know people that are suffering right now you know recovering but every time i turn on the news it's on the news and i was like okay it's been a week please i need a break i cannot turn on the news i cannot go online i cannot yeah, go I on facebook it's in my face but in positive news towards that you know Dicks. you've told me that before too that uh you can only do a little bit of and i think also you said it also mr yeah. mitchell you think... can't watch it you don't watch the news uh, I, I i really do think that you know and you have you have a beautiful daughter Oh, why? oh, thank you. Very you know, much. so, I that. wow, what a beautiful soul. So it really, and you have kids, so, um, oh, my kids, God. Kids, grandkids. I'm right. Oh. Right. But right. in so, good news, Dick Superstore, who is known for carrying semi-automatics. Uh, I heard that. Yes, they decided to go ahead and pull out all their guns from the stores near well, to um, where the incident wait a minute, happened. Right. I, I want to hear what Mr. Mention had to say. I, we I kind totally of stopped I agree with, 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 with everything that everybody's saying about the guns and everything. Right. I, I mean, but I, you were on, I, you, I totally you're understand. On. But if ever a time we need to take one minute or one second out of our time to make somebody feel good throughout the day, it is now, or it was before, and it's going to be now. And, you know, like I said, you know, we have to really stick on reality. Yeah. Somebody dropped the ball and won, and one destroyed 27, including I agree. himself make 28. So, yes. I mean, I'm not saying this. You know, there should have been some help. It, you know, I, I agree All with right. you. I, mean, I agree with we're you. We're talking well. about this. This is something that that somebody somebody had to see it, but just didn't want to step up to the plate. Are, are you well, seeing today? Where but you can't. Handgun sales went up today on astronomical. Yeah, they've sold more handguns in the uh, last yes. couple of days yeah. 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 than yeah. they yeah. have all of last. And, and that's year. not going to solve the problem. But like Mr. Mention was finishing out with your comment, please do finish. It's 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 very very um, intolerant to me. When somebody get up in the morning with pure ignorance in their heart, you know what I mean? You step outside your house, you must be able to smile with honest truth of the Almighty dwelling with inside of you and say hello to somebody and tru truly mean it. Agreed. You know Agreed. what I mean? Agreed. So all those, you can get up in the morning and all you can say is hello and you make somebody else's day. Yeah. Th that is true. That is so, so true. Let's get back to the reality where we, let's get rid of all the isms and the schisms. <laughs> I like that. And get to reality and love one another. I agree. Right, just I, I agree. Righteousness shall exalt us. You know, I spoke. You know? I, I spoke with a couple from England uh, the day of the incident. Matter of fact, about an hour afterwards, and um, we started talking. And they're enlightened people, and like the viewers out there that watch this program. Uh, I do apologize. My email has been down. I'm trying to rectify this situation, and I will. So I don't know what kind of emails have come in over the last couple of weeks. Um, but speaking to these people that have been here since August and to have that open dialogue with people from England yes. was just absolutely wonderful because their insight and how they felt about the 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 caring and, and they they think about what happened to them when uh you know they were fighting against the ira yeah well, you know what a, what a terrible right. thing they were dealing with well you know like back I, when there was a wee in the back of then it's really rough back in them days i remember uh, that well yeah it's very rough in them days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i like that well, yeah that some enlightenment well, to that you know i mean i like i will always say you know i mean every single nation has been through their tribulation agreed but the children do not have to take the no. blood. No. These no. are angelic no. souls that this has no. returned. They, they are like, angelic souls, you know I agree. I mean? So, I mean, we have to... A child is born pure. We have to stick to the reality. But believe it or not, this is not the worst school incident of killings. Well, we, I think well, VTech well, is the well, first well, one. No, there's actually one worse than that. Well, the fact that the, we're talking and about children. Them. In the 1950s, there was a man that put a bomb in there and killed 84 children. Well, yeah. the, fact that we're, yeah. the fact that we're comparing which one is worse... That was pretty bad. Maybe we just don't want to see it. Yeah. Right, right, right. I just don't want I think, to see I mean, it. I think what it was is people don't realize the violence has been there. And I'm sorry. Back Tocha, then. I hope everybody tunes in, and I hope you stay and tuned in with us because we want you to stick around. The show is a fun show, and uh, we just want to uh, make no, sure that you stick around. No, we the topics that I hear, which is relevant to be addressed. Yeah. You know.
Well, right now, the, the good part is... is oh, I'm sorry, the, I'm sorry, Anna. Uh, tow truck, you were getting ready to say something. Well, I, I'm not trying to cut you off by no means. No, uh, it's, it's all right. Sorry, no, go ahead. No, but you, you were saying after the 84... Okay, there was 84... Okay, back in the day, this violence always happened in our history. It's been happening since the beginning of time. Agreed. The only difference Agreed. is now our technology broadcast it everywhere. Yeah. Like, sure. you see the things where the... I'm just going to pick something, for example, like the, the veterans that were pissing on the dead... Taliban. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. Now, I'm a veteran, and uh, in Vietnam, we've done a lot worse. Let's put it that way. Right. And I'm going right, to leave it right. at that. Right. And you got to think about it. If you don't realize it, think about it. Look at the numbers that we've killed over there. Oh, my God. Alone. Okay, so uh, enough said. I mean, I'm not going to tell you, they all weren't just shot peacefully or bombed peacefully. Some of them were done in some unmentionable ways. Right. Well, they so, had a they had a weird incident with Side, the guy who does the Gungan style. I'm not sure if you, you heard about yeah, this. He's where a dancer. he went in at the end of a concert. And he was literally like, I guess he had a tank with an American flag, and he was kicking in and saying he was hating, like you know, hate America for a little while. Excuse that, me, what, but what, 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 but what, wait, wait, wait okay, before okay. you jump the gun. No, I'm not jumping the gun. I was no. just trying to say, repeat it again. He had a tank. Yeah, he had like a little toy tank, and oh, he was oh, saying, you know, okay, like okay, okay. Uh, yeah, in okay, a live okay. performance. He was saying something like, I hate Americans or something like that while he was performing. A lot of people got offended. But when he actually, they actually got the facts from it, it turned out that in his country, the U.S. military was there and a couple of children were accidentally killed. Uh, so he was angry about that. And people were like, oh, my God. It's like there's always two sides of yeah, any yeah, story. Yeah, I, you know what? Tow truck said something. Tow truck, I, I think I believe it was tow truck or maybe it was. You, Mr. Mention, but I know it was uh, one of the two uh, on the panel tonight. But uh, somebody said that it's terrible that the news grabs the uh, worst. What 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 is it called? Sound bites. They grab the sound bite, and all of a sudden they run with a sound bite that could be furthest from the truth. And oh, I, I think that oh feeds. God, yeah. I think that feeds fuel. Uh, to what's going on now? Sometimes uh, the soundbite is what it is, like that one senator who kept saying that a woman can stop from being pregnant. Oh you remember my that God, man? That guy oh. is such an idiot. Look. You know he is still doing it. Yeah. He's... And 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 the other. Uh... I think they should have a cutoff. Those guys are eighty some years old running the country. Come on. <laughs> oh my God! It's I time mean, for them to go home. They make you retire at the age of it's sixty-five. Like, Come it's on. Like, apparently, when you get raped, you you can actually like turn off and keep yourself from being yeah, pregnant. I'm like seriously, because right. the birth control industry would have been Look, out of honey, business I'm a long time ago. But it's not going to be no semen in there. That. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's just crazy. Yeah, that's just a terrible crime, you know. Yeah, it is, and uh, and I'm glad that everybody on the panel is not, uh, you know, like, oh, why do you bring that up? Because it's it's important because the show is called How Did We Get Here? Yes. How did we get here as a whole? How did we get here as a society? How did individuals get to where they're going? How us four got to where we're going? How did we get to where we are? What we did to get to where we are? And the guests that we have on the show talk about Exactly that. We have a uh, a beautiful lady by Suya Mohammed, and we all agree what a wonderful spirit she is. Absolutely. And at the age of 28, and you could watch these shows back. It was about four weeks ago she was on, and she talked about her book, Don't Call Me Crazy, I'm Just in Love. And she found out she's a paranoid schizophrenic. Well, the problem was before that, before she was diagnosed, please, gentlemen and ladies, mm -hmm. stop me if I'm wrong, uh, before she was diagnosed with this, uh, boyfriends thought she was bananas and would leave her, and her family didn't know what to do with her. And then finally, she figured out that she was a paranoid schizophrenic. And now she is doing, she's flourished. Yep. She's with gone, medication. With That's medication. Uh, she's completed college. She is a, she speaks out in lectures. And she's single. Yeah. Of course, and she's that single. might scare you that she was kind of. <laughs> Okay, yeah. let's face it, guys. All bitches are crazy. You know. ah. Let's just face it. You guys are out there. I'm just. Hey, I don't want to hear anything Except goes for Anna. Anna. Except for Anna. Except for Anna. 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 All women are crazy. All guys are dogs. No mas. No mas. No mas. No mas. No mas. I'm not fighting about Lena. Yeah. Because <laughs> I love them out. <laughs> I like that. Um, yeah. So you know the show is called How Do We Get Here, and that's why we're going to touch on this subject. Um, if if some of you viewers out there remember when. Uh, uh, the idiot did the gig uh, in the. Um, I will never mention these people's names. Never will I give them that credit at all. I will never mention anybody that does anything like that. Not even a, not even the first letter of their name will I ever uh, utter out of my mouth because they don't deserve it. And uh, 
I just wish that uh, there was somebody there that uh, was had a weapon that could have stopped him before he got out of control. Well, I really do. I know it, weapon doesn't solve weapon, but if there was— Actually, a, I think you're right. Yeah. I think if, if, if there was somebody there— They only had one security officer. Let's face it. Times are changing. Now, all these people that are doing these shootings— Let's stop right there for a second. They're right. all mentally disturbed people. Yes. It's not I, the guns that kill them. It's no. the mentally minded person. Now, if you Agreed. don't give them a gun, he'd be I, like Billy Ferry. And, I, they're right. all, and most of them are without people. a previous a He went previous into Win dixie threw gas at people, and set them ablaze. Yeah. If you don't give them a gun, they're going to use gas. If you yeah, don't give them a gas, gas. they're going to use a knife. Otherwise, they'll just drive a car. Oh, sure. No, use Crazy. fertilizer. Sure. Whatever. Mr. Yeah. Yeah. No, what all these people have in common is that they're mentally ill. Yes. Exactly. Yes. No, I yes. wish they had gotten help before it had gotten out of hand. And that's because somebody didn't step up. And you know, here, here, uh, here's my theory. the ball right. here's, on some one okay. individual there's everybody, and it cost a whole lot of people A lot lives. of pain. A lot Listen, of pain. Listen, my, my theory. I okay. am a father. I'll tell my I feel theory. That down to my bones. Yeah, you're a father. Um, I, I this is my theory. Only my theory, because everybody's like, "Why did he do it? Why did he do it? Why did he do it?" The first thing that came to my mind was that here is his mother, that was working with children. He is disturbed. He's a recluse, and then. He kills his mother and then goes on a rampage. He didn't just kill so her. I he believe killed her with her own gun. With her own gun, right? So I believe that, that my theory yeah, is is that plural. that this kid probably heard his mother say, in and in, in every day, all my children are so great. All my children are so great. They do so great at school. They do so great at school. And, he and finally, he snapped. He yeah, he sent his own message. He right. sent his own message. Oh, you love them more than me? Well, guess what? I snapped, and this is what I'm not making it right. At all, like well, Mr. I, Mention I, said, I, I they're mentally I, I, I ill. I still don't think we have all the stories. So I don't no, I agree. No, agree. No. Agree. No, agree. We don't. <clears throat> no, I, the, like uh, I said, it was only a theory. Yeah. It was yeah. only a theory. But when the news first came out, they first they tell you the story, the dad's dead, the mom's dead, yeah. they arrested the one uh, brother. I mean, no. Yeah, it changes I up. I wish the news would be like uh, it was back when we were growing up. You don't open your mouth until you got your facts right. Yeah, oh, but people boy. want, it's also the, the concept of uh, immediate reward. I want it now. What Our happened? culture, did it? yes. What Instant gratification. Instant gratification. Okay, so That's here right. They are. Instant they, gratification. They're picking on people. They, they say things and they, then they do a retraction. It doesn't stop the damage that's already been done. Agreed. Mm -hmm. okay? Agreed. So before you start opening your mouth out there in the press and say, Agreed. And say something that Joe Blow did this, until you get your shit in one sock, Keep it to yourself. That's Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. That's righteous. That's and a I agree. natural mystic. That's right. Yeah. Now, the good yeah. thing is, yeah. is actually yeah. brought up the debate again over, you know, gun restriction laws, which sure. I, sure. I personally believe a person does have the right to bear arms and self-defense. So do I. I believe. I have However, a concealed weapons permit. Tow I, truck has I one. I do agree I mean, what a know. lot of people are saying right now. It's like, what is the purpose of a civilian having a, you know, what, uh, the equivalent yeah, of that, a that Tommy that gun? AR-15. No, no, I do collect some. I have... I have a sort of collection of weaponry. Yeah. Some of it's World War II weaponry. Yeah. Sure, sure, and it sure, functions sure. quite well. Yeah. And people might say, well, what do you have that for? Well, why do you buy a fire extinguisher? Yeah. Right. Well, just right. in case. Ah. Right, right, I right. I might want to go hunting. I can use the old military rifles. Yeah. It makes no difference. I, I collect these because, to me, if they're a thing of beauty, mechanical, the way they've been made. Let me and ask I don't, you a I'm question. not a nut. I don't go out there shooting the neighborhood. I out. have a question right, for you. Right. Where and on which hunt do you need you do you need an AK forty seven? Well I wouldn't that, that, no, I, have a, I have a German Mauser no, no, that no, I would no. use. What I'm saying. Oh yeah. A or a Bushmaster. Yeah, that Bushmaster. Oh, do you need one to, Which, which you animal need, are you going to shoot with a Bushmaster? Well, a Bushmaster, you can drop a hog. You can, you can I was going to say a hog. You, you can't can drop, drop a hog, hog with you that. You can drop a deer. But you listen, can, listen. Do a you bear. really need that, though? No, he doesn't. No. no. I usually have pistols usually when I hunt. <laughs> I use like 357 Magnums, 44s. So I think, personally, like I said, you know, I mean, it's your right, it's your right. Mm -hmm. Okay? I grew up down here in Florida. And so, it's I mean, yeah, I mean, for me personally... Whatever is a man right is a man right. Yeah. Right. You know, you have the right to live and you have the right to <coughs> die. <laughs> right. You know but I'm going to tell you what it is. So now but realistically, realistically. Have, uh, the realist reason, but he's a collector of guns. But that's the what I'm reason, saying. Okay, but the reason why you have a Second Amendment, the reason why mm. that the that they want you to own weapons is yeah. not so much to protect yourself. Right. It's to protect yourself from the government. That, that, you know not, what? That is true. Believe that it is or true. not, it's written in there. And what it's for is in case the government tries to seize power unconstitutionally, you right. are just like right, in a Roman as an American citizen. 
during the Romans, they had up and correct situations. Okay, wow. it doesn't uh, make 25, you a terrorist. It makes you a true American. Twenty five hundred years ago, you know, legally, and, the the, man. and and before the birth of Christ, uh, you try uh, now? the Romans, the Romans. Okay, they put uh, the Caesar would be in control, but they always had the. Um, oh my God! I, I was getting ready to say it. His centurions. Okay, and they protected him. But outside that was the people's army. And they never wanted, Caesar never wanted his ar that army to come after him because they were for the people. So if the power got out of control, well, like Caesar you're saying. Were warriors anyway. Right. So when, it, when a government got out of control, who comes in? Well, they select, uh, you know, Mark Anthony. And he goes in there and he says, okay, guess what? We're seizing power. You're screwing this whole thing up and we're taking over. So, yes, on that part there. I mean, it'd be a hard-pressed issue for another country to try to take us over. That's, That's the reason why sure. you're not invading. <coughs> well, when when Europe fell, it was against the law in Europe for civilians to own weapons. France did away with the weapons right, right before World War II. So every French civilian could not bring up arms. They could not protect themselves. They, uh, they, we had to give them the weapons for the French Foreign Legion to, I mean, for the uh, underground resistance to fight. Sure, sure. Because sure. they did not have the means. Right. Now, when Europe, when England was trying to be invaded, the pilots got shot down. Every little farmer brought out his scatter gun and captured the pilots and brought them into justice. Right. Otherwise, them men could have created havoc and you know what. Um, everybody out there, the number is 727-597-4022. Please, if we, you know, we don't, we will answer the phone call and we will show you all the respect in the world. Please call in and chime in if you'd like to on any topic that we're talking about. Um, it is a, a little bit of our topic starting out with the show. Stick around. It's going to get a lot more fun. Yeah. But uh, we're yeah. kind of airing out what happened because innocence. Yeah. Wow. That's, that, that was just, it broke my heart. That was just... It broke my heart. Well, the worst part is is listening how each one of them died. Yeah, like the teachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I can't yeah. do it anymore because I teach, and I'm like, I could literally see myself doing that, and I'm like, I have to turn it off because I just start crying. You know what I mean? I agree, I agree. The, the whole classroom. There, was, there's was one shot. thing I want to like, say. You know, if, 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 if anything else come out of this topic is just to make you know, respect teachers. Yeah, respect yeah. teachers. Yeah. They've yeah. been too long. Teachers have been getting disrespected. Absolutely. Respect Absolutely. them because every profession on this earth, you needed a teacher to get where you are. Ah, right that's now. so true, so man. Start Good point. Great point. Because Great point. They are life savers. They are life savers. They really are. And They're you know, America's and, and, babysitters and sorry, from to... eight to twelve. What, well, four? I mean, and on top of that, uh, like Tow Truck was saying, is that, you know, and Mr. Mention, and it's very true. Just imagine if those teachers were not. Really so, I mean, you know, okay, things are going on around them, but they made sure they stashed their students, they made sure they got out, and the guy was still shooting as they're running out. Well, but the what, teachers are getting them out and blocking them. That's what teachers do. Right, right, that's right, That's like right. their children at that point. Well, pretty much, pretty much. Uh, somebody told me this uh, a long time ago, and I believe my philosophy is, is that when a child goes to school, that is, you're, le you're dropping them off at their step-parents. Well, yeah. well, I mean, I mean, you you expect your takes teachers a whole village to raise a child, absolutely. whole village to raise a child. So, yes, I mean, start respecting teachers, people. Start paying yeah. teachers better. I oh agree. yeah, I agree Good with that too. Lord, have you I seen how much that. teachers get paid? They I get know, paid it's jack. And some of them need hazardous duty pay. Oh, See, and, I and agree people, with that. And people don't understand. It's like they have to get a master's degree to teach. They have to get certificates to teach. They gotta keep up with paperwork to, in order to be able to teach. And a lot of then, them spend their own money. Yeah, they got yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yeah. They sure yeah. do spend their own money. Yeah, yeah. no. People yeah. Are like, oh, well, it's the teacher's fault. My child's not doing this. Like, do you actually talk to your kid at, at a home when you get off from work? Because you know, it, teaching is both in school right, and right, at home. Right, 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 right. At home, people, it's That's not right. just yeah, in school. Yeah, but in, my, in, in defense, my daughter came up and said, "Dad, help me with this math." I go. <laughs> yeah, but at least you were there I to ain't support seen her. That since what year is this? <laughs> right, right, right. But you know, right, too right. often kids kids a go plus home. B equals Q. What happened to C? You know. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> but you know, so way, way too often character, kids right. come home to an empty home because that's parents that's gotta true. work. And, that's I mean, true. a lot of single parents. Back to out what Mister Mention yeah. said. Yeah. Once yeah. again, it circles right back around well, there. Well, in defense of the times of changing, when I was a kid growing up, parents didn't really divorce too much. They stayed together for the children. Guess right. what the, Even what's if they the hate divorce each other. rate? Oh, you effing bitch. It, I was, what is the divorce rate right now? When you're around the kids, 
Mommy loves daddy. <laughs> Does anybody know what the clap? But that, you know, but right, yeah. right, right, but right, 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 right. Have you guys looked at the U.S. Census? What is the divorce rate? Oh, it's incredible. Uh, it's over He's 50%, like, percent, I know. It was like no, 36, it's, it's, 36%. No. Right? No. no. It's oh. higher than that. Oh, yeah, I know. It was 50 really? for sure. Well, I've, been, yeah. I've been married and divorced over four times, put yeah. it that way. Really? So, Are you wow. keeping up the percentage, yeah. man? <laughs> no. Yeah, he's, 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 yeah, he's probably okay. it's, it's I was the percentage, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> and I can explain the AIDS things, too. There was a guy having sex with a monkey. I, I, I thought the monkey was going to be different. I'm sorry about that, too. I mean, there's a lot to explain. <laughs> yeah, but it, it got for a while. They're right now they're saying the divorce rate is dropping, but it's only because people are not bothering to get married. Right. So that's the other thing. Me and Tom, we're in our we're in our early thirties. We are literally considered a minority. Most people like forty, fifty years ago, a mass majority of people be married. We're only part of the twenty four percent of US people in our age group that get married. And now it's like the, the divorce <clears throat> rates hovers between sixty. Have you heard seen that movie or heard of that movie? Man, called, how uh, did we get here, man? Yeah, do you no remember doubt, that movie man. a five year the anniversary? Upgrade generation. Five year no five year engagement. You've heard that movie called the five year no. engagement? Well, I was engaged for ten years to the wife I'm married to now. Oh, wow. Wow. The well, second you married her? Because expectations went up. No, because uh, it's funny because I met her on the computer and I got to know her before I even got to see what she looked like. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. And that's what it is. You got to get to know the other person. Yeah, I feel I so bad for oh, my friends. A bitch. I'll say it. Honey, you're a bitch, but by God, I love you and you're a bitch. I've seen it so, so many okay. times. My right. friends, they'll date a chick for years and years and years and years and then they marry them and it falls apart because all of a sudden expectation goes up. I want a house. I want this. I want oh, fancy furniture. Yeah. Well, I want okay, that. in defense, no, 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 here's no, no, the difference. I'm going to give you a quick rundown. What's the difference between a housewife, a nymphomaniac, and a hooker? I don't know. You got me. A hooker goes, are you done yet? A nymphomaniac ah. goes, what do you mean you're done? And the housewife goes, you know, honey, we ought to paint that seal. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you for lightening up the room, man. That was good. Yes. That's Tow Truck, our yeah. comic relief but right I, here. We have on to, get, how we we get, have to get back on spirits. You know what we need right yeah, now? Yeah, we yeah. actually need a nice tune right now. Yeah, you know <laughs> what? To mellow you know what? I, I was, you know right what? I was thinking about that because I, I was going to talk about porno, but uh, no, I, think, I, think I think the spirit I think is that in a Mr. Mention, Mr. Uh, yeah. Once yeah. he's done, I have a couple really important yeah. things to talk oh, about. You're going to do it. You're going to do it? Honey? Yeah, there's a you're couple really it. interesting things that are okay. going on. Okay. Mr. Manchin, what's the name of the song? Why'd you write it? What's it called? And how did we get here? How did you get here to do it? Or well, we know how you got here. You drove here. But it was a you know, Sometimes you give thanks all the time. And this is a, a, a Thanksgiving song from, from me, you know, to, to the Almighty. Okay. To I the Almighty and all thanks. the people on the web. Mr. Manchin, a.k.a. Mr. Mitchell. And this is coming out on the new album next year. Yeah. 
has always been by my side. Sweep over my soul. Now that I'm young until the day I go. You gave me life, life abundantly. You set my son be strong and love in my liberty. I'll tell you, what a beautiful yeah. song once again. Awesome. And uh, for those of you out there, Mr. Mention is a writer, composer, uh, musician. I mean, everything you hear is really original. And every once in a while, he'll surprise us and play something that everybody knows. <laughs> and because uh, we did get some emails uh, a while back asking if uh, he would play something that everybody would know. And he has done that, too. So that was a wonderful song. And I'll get back to a surprise that I have to tell everybody at home. And even my co-hosts don't know what me and Mr. Me, me, me and Mr. Mention got in store for everybody. Okay, Anna, go ahead. She yeah. is our pop culturist, and she is gonna lay the low down. All right, all right. Come on, don't, don't, for don't, all don't, you don't, caffeine don't. junkies out there who loves the Volt, who loves the Jolt, who loves the Four Loco, the Five Hour Energy. What else is out there that's got caffeine and caffeine with Monster. caffeine? But guess what? PepsiCo Frito Lay is going to release now caffeine flavor Cracker Jacks. Mm, can mm. you go ahead and drop the picture in there? I don't think, can you drop the picture from the Cracker Jacks? <laughs> yes, You're you heard me, me right. Caffeine you know, Cracker Jacks? Coffee flavor Cracker Jacks. Yeah, doesn't that sound tasty? Nah, 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 nah. Hey, how much coffee you had today? Yeah. Yeah. It says one cup of coffee, yeah. <laughs> well, the, you know, and this is pretty much what's happening socially. People wow. just like those quick boosters because we're working ourselves and stressing ourselves out to death. So and we like that five-hour energy. Oh, my pri- goodness. The little prize in there, it's sweet and low. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do oh. Sweet and yeah, low. Go ahead and take funny. that off. Take that That's off, brother. Funny. But, yeah, okay. but this is pretty interesting because it's bringing up a new topic about, you know, caffeinated goods and how there's kind of kids are getting hooked up on these. And so. So there are people are asking the FDA to actually start regulating or having labels on how much caffeine is going into product. Yeah, because, because yeah, you know, I mean, a lot of kids are into the caffeine, man. They get really wired up, man. Yeah. That's for, for all sure. you sexual people, caffeine condoms are not really healthy for you. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, does, <laughs> does it shrivel it up and turn it brown? Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think this conversation <laughs> is going down. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. All right, All right tech what news. Else I have a couple things on tech news. Now, those of you guys who have been contemplating the iPhone 5 like I have been, I'm actually going to hold out for the 5S. Uh, if you need one for Christmas, Walmart is currently selling the for the intro iPhone 5, which is the 16 gig, for 127 until the end of the year. Oh, so if you're bad. looking into getting a 16 gig iPhone and you're thinking, you know, it's too expensive, well, now it's not as expensive and it's pretty cool. So just watch out for your data plan. It will kind of, you know, rape you in the month. But you know, check it out. Check it out. It's pretty cool. All right. Now here's the big news. What's going on right now? Now last week they talked about how Facebook had a voting. Yes. And apparently, you know, in order for uh, they used to have public voting where people could vote on policies that weren't changed in the company. Now, the last vote in order for it to go through, you need to have 30 percent of the users of the Web page actually vote on it. The problem was Facebook has one billion users. They needed 300 million people to vote and only 0.2 percent, which is 200,000 people voted because nobody knew what's going on. Oh, really? Yeah. So this, I didn't know. Yeah. So this is the problem that's going on right now. Now, because they finally took out public voting out of Facebook. Really? All right. They, yes. It's, that was part of the vote. <laughs> they taken out public voting, period. Facebook just announced Instagram, which is owned by Facebook, that they will have the rights to sell your pictures 
to advertisers and companies without telling you or paying you for it. So this that's has against been against the law. Yeah, so that's been hitting the stream today, and people really? are royally it pissed. It is against off. the law because without a release form of of a model release form. And you cannot legally well, post that. Well, here's the problem. When you sign up to Facebook, yep. they have that little thing yep. that they says, do you agree yep. to those you terms? Say, you say on that public or private. If you put down <clears> private <throat> and they get into your stuff, if you accept public, to, to anyone can look at it. If I just put down friends. Mine's, friends, mine's private. I mean, mine's private. Now, now of course, it. now, see, there's two sides because I have a private one. Then there's one open for how did we get here? So it's kind of. I just, now, I really just think it's a different way that they actually has just manipulated the system. Yeah, yeah. they're just yeah. trying now, to sell your info. So, I, I, you we can know, make money off of what they, money. What, you know, they, but they were selling info long way before Facebook were. Well, yeah, now yeah, here's right, the thing. Right. Now here's the thing. They're trying to make revenue because at this moment they realize that yeah, people you can sell ads on the all along, but nobody's clicking on them, which is a the problem they're having. You know what though? The uh, the stock market went up. Uh, well, actually, right. actually, it, it went it, down. It's gone up. Actually, it went I down, but now a it's back things up. From, um, so they mm. are working. Like, a, for yeah, example, yeah. the hunting ones and stuff like that. I do buy stuff from some of the stuff yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. So, but uh, but yeah, <laughs> but not flowers. every. Yeah, but not everybody clicks on that. I mean, you're like what zero point zero one percent. One of those little zero point that clicks, yeah. and the same thing goes on the smartphones. The smartphones are the same thing. The problem that they ran into is that they were they were trying to be smart about it, and instead they piss off a bunch of their users. Oh, because yeah. what they were trying to do is create like a photo bucket where ah, people they can sell okay. pictures but okay. what what they did wrong is that on like photo bucket and some of the other ones as let, let's say mr mention you're a photographer yes you submit pictures up then you go in okay i will sell it and you will get a percentage of my picture but i'm giving you permission to sell it on my behalf and i get a percentage right. okay what's famous going is oh you upload to our site F you, we're going to go ahead and sell it, and you, we're not going to tell you that we sold it to a, you know, X, Y, and C company, right. and that's it. That's wrong. That's wrong. I mean, that, that's, that's wrong. wrong. That's wrong. It, it well, is that wrong. company that posts your picture, but, that company um, alone should know by law but that there, you have there, to have the There is a form. stipulation, and, and uh, I got a, that's somebody, right. somebody sent a, a general Facebook message out, and uh, in that Facebook message, it said to write on one of your pages. And do shit. It doesn't. It doesn't do shit. Sure. Do sure because you're still okay. using the server. All right, got you. Got now, you. this okay. is the new policies are going to take place on January 16 on 2013. And uh, they're practically saying any picture that's posted after that will be, this will be applied to it. Now, here's what has happened because people hmm. are finally paying attention to what's happening. All of a sudden this evening, right before I came here, they were saying, uh, we're going to go ahead and review our Instagram policies because too many of our users have actually started canceling and deleting pictures uh, from their Facebook sites. So a lot of people are literally going to Flickr, which is what me and Tom are on, which, yeah, you pay $28, but we have 14,000 <laughs> photos for $28 a year, okay? Wow. You are getting wow. your money's worth. Yeah, yeah. Okay? I got so, a photo <laughs> album at home. Don't cost me a dime. I put pictures <laughs> in it. Right ah, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's, 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 that's but, that's, that's you fun. know, for those of you guys who are like me, we like to look for alternatives. If Instagram has pissed you off to no end, so you're some couple See the alternatives. See difference in times, how they've changed? They have, man. They have big time. Yes, yes. you can put your pictures on it so everyone can see your pictures for $28 a year yeah well in, in anna's in, uh, in, in put them on anna's my case and uh, with nothing. anna and tom they their their whole business is making sure people get to see pictures of all the unique collectibles uh that are out there so they can uh so raging nerdgasm.com uh does this thing so they need that kind of space yeah and they need that kind of in assurance that it's going to be there. It's going to be there. Yeah, right. so $28 it's for a server that bad. people, we can track what people are doing. And what's that, $2.10 a, yeah, a month? Yeah, I mean, to it's unlimited. You, unlimited. you know how many right. 14,000 pictures Shh. is? Actually, I'm up to 14,300 now. Can you pick somebody trying to look at them all? Actually, yes, we've had. We've had. Uh, we are a, close to 100,000 views some, right quick, now. I, yeah, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. We are really close. Do. Now, those of you guys who are a little upset at Instagram, here's a couple alternatives to you. One of them is called Hips Tomatic. Uh, it's only available to iPhone. And it practically has the same kind of trinkets as the Instagram, uh, except that it is, let's see, it gives you. Uh, illustration. Uh, oh, it gives you the illusion of older camera. So you literally you're picking it up, and it literally looks like an old school camera from like the fifties, the sixties, okay. the seventies, and it gives you that same look. So it's only yeah, ninety nine right. cents. Cool, right? 
It's only 99 cents and it's only at the Apple Store. Sorry, Android users. So that one's only for iPhones. Here's another one that's only for iPhones too. All it's right. called Camera Awesome. Camera Awesome. Camera, camera awesome. awesome. And Camera Awesome, it's actually really cool. It's free. And what it is, is it's more for, for professional type photographers. They're not looking to add a cheap filter. They're sure. literally looking sure. to add a photo okay. of a building and trying to balance it, maybe add some lighting. That it's, it's more for traditional Type photography again. That one is free and it's called Camera Awesome. Check it out. All right. The other one. This is both for iOS or uh, iPhone and Android. It is called <laughs> Camera Fun. And Camera Fun. There is a basic one that is for free, and then the Pro version is ninety nine cents on Android, and then on the iOS is actually free. So and it's pretty much simple to use. It's got a couple of filters, you know, a few more than actually Instagram. So I would suggest for you guys to check it out. Okay. The other one is called a hundred cameras in one. What? A hundred cam by the way, guys, if you cannot catch this, this is on fastcompany.com. They're a great company. Like they talk everything about tech and everything that's happening right now and buzzing. I'm constantly reading these all these sites but that's why a, you're our pop culture yes 100 cameras in one it pretty much is it, it, it your your phone turns into a hundred different variations of cameras so oh, really? a polaroid the little snap disposables you name it, it's all in there so it's 100 oh, cameras okay. in one and uh, you got a couple different looks and all kinds of stuff i could not find the price for it for android however the, for the ios it is two dollars or a dollar 99 because you can't put two dollars on there all right and all then right. last and not least if you really want to stick it to facebook just go to twitter believe it or not they yeah, finally Twitter's. added a a photo feature on it and uh, this is as of not i think it was last monday they announced it was on the 11th and they say the new the new photo feature on twitter it actually has new cropping tools on it it has a couple filters on it so while it might not be instagram it gives you a really great alternative and guess what they're not going to sell your pictures without your consent so this is going to be really interesting what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks <clears throat> regarding this so especially right. with so many people using uh cell phones did you know, um, here's a couple of cell phone facts. Anybody want to? Yeah, this? absolutely. Right. Hit us with it. Now, every six months to a year, a uh, couple, you know, several companies that keep track of all kinds of stuff, like how many cars sell and all the fun stuff. There's one for smartphones. So you know that 80% of humans actually carry a mobile device? I believe that. I believe it. 80% of humans carry a mobile device. In the U.S., 91.4 million, there's 91.4 million smartphones in the Whoa. U.S. Whoa, how many? 91. Point four million smartphones in the U.S. alone. Wow, that's just in smartphones. Yes, and There's this not is not that many Americans here. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> that's why I like my phone so much. I have four of them, one for each oh, pocket. Actually, yeah. I met a couple These people of that. Yes, <laughs> I put them in my pants. I call myself. You know, I'm sitting there. I'm glancing over our sound vibration. booth. You're doing a great job, my brother. Yeah, but... yeah, no, yeah. Give listen, a no shout problem. out to the people out yes. there. Out of 5 billion phones, 1.8 billion are smartphones. And this give is a cool shout-out if you want to. What up, what up? Come on, Will. I want to uh, give a shout-out to everybody listening, and I want to thank um, you know, the cast here for showing me love at uh, how did, did we get here. Thank you, everybody. Uh, hey, man. That's thank a new you. sound guy. He's cool. He's yeah, cool. he's cool. And this is not a garage. This is a studio. It's right. an actual studio, believe it or not. Uh, uh, there are more Android users than there are Apple, so there's 46.9%. Android users versus Apple, which is actually 28.7%. Uh, nine out of 10 uh, users actually use their phone daily. And I am guilty of this. The first thing I see and the last thing I see is not my husband, it's my phone. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that true. terrible? It's probably your alarm I'm clock like, too, isn't it? Uh, what time it's is probably it? Probably your alarm clock. Too. I, yes. My phone is. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I click uh, my phone. I uh, click. Yeah. I, so the last thing mine I see, I go, can I, and I get, piss my wife off sometimes. I go, I, I plug the phone in the wire into her ass and I kiss the phone and she's like, Ah! <laughs> You're really tired. Aren't you? I guess I am. Sorry, Annie. Oh my God, that was great! All right, that was great. Yeah. Easy. Oh, oh was... my. Let me tell you, people, you hear that? Come out Saturday. Yeah, you'll hear more you'll of that. Hear a whole yeah. lot more. We have. You're gonna hear all kinds of show that, you, you know, that's a sick great way to segue. Stuff. It's a sick, that's sick a great world. segue into that. But that's the way you do it. That is tow truck over there, <laughs> and he's gonna be on stage with me. But uh, Mr. Mention, give, give him the lowdown on well, what's you happening. Know, we have this great community. Uh, concert that we're putting together for the community yeah, and for the community. families to come together and unite with great vibes on Saturday the 22nd at the Jerk Center. That is 306 South Pinellas Avenue 
And, you know, just come on down with your great vibes, with the whole family. We're going to have dancers there. We're going to have comedians there. We're going to have uh, a great reggae show. We're going to have two bands there. We're going to have hip-hop there. I mean, we're going to have a great entertainment for the people. And this is not something you're going to pay to come in. This is for the community. It's so come free. on down and let us have fun. It's it's you know it's just time for us to unite and try to enjoy each other in love and I agree. unity. I so agree. Come and on down you, and have a jam with the Jamaican Christmas. And, and you know what? You know what makes it even extra special? <laughs> I'll tell you what's going to make it extra special. is because the Mayan calendar ends on the 21st. And the new uh, calendar begins on the 22nd. Uh, according to the mind so that's a beautiful date in all kinds of different ways uh, well, because you know, you know everybody the doom 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 no 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 it's just it's it's a it's a well, what change happened that's in, real, all it is. in reality what happened so was that's the a guy great day away going we're going to end on this date what happened we have to get out of here why and uh, then they're all gone so that's what happened the guy just I mean, he had to all stop right, right? right. yeah yeah <laughs> but well, but it's true yeah. but tow truck will be there <laughs> he'll be uh jumping up there doing a comedy routine and uh Trust me when I tell you, when you hear a whole routine by Tow Truck on a 22nd, you'll appreciate it. Anna Chaos will be up on stage Absolutely. with me, too, uh, right. talking about Raging Nerdgasm and all kinds of cool gotta things. My, I got to have my pillow. Uh... I'll, be, uh, I'll be hosting the show, and, of course, Mr. Mention will be on playing live, and I kid you not. Now I'm going to segue into something else. Uh, the concert's going to be great. I've seen him in concert already live, and there's not enough room on any stage for Mr. Mention. <laughs> there just isn't. I mean, sweat, blood, and tears are poured right there on a the stage. He shows you what oh he's got. My. But I talked it over with him, and you guys don't know, and you're like wondering, what could it be? Okay, there is a show called X Factor out there, mm -hmm. and they have a category 25 and up. <clears throat> now... I've heard him sing. You guys have heard him I'm sing. I'm not doing the dance group thing. I can't no, dance. No, it's just not, too dangerous. You're not going to do this. Uh, <laughs> but I want everybody out there to know, and I will remind you every week till March, because we are going to drive up to Atlanta, and I know he's going to make the audition, so that's not even a that's not even to think about things. But uh, keep your eyes open for Mr. Mention, because we are going to Atlanta for the audition, and we're going to come home with a win. It's a natural mystic. It's a natural That's mystic. right. It's a natural mystic, and it will take place, and that'll be on an X Factor for next uh, season. So I wanted to make sure I tell everybody hey, every single week. A lot of them shows are a lot of fun. I did the Talent Rock competition in 2006. 87 comedians that came in top five. I wow. feel really good about that. Naturally. Wow. That is good. Oh, I mean, uh, dude, I'm telling you. You know, I mean, if you make it in, it, it, put it this way. If you make it, okay, they have three transitions. You go from audition to Las Vegas to California. If you make it to Vegas, you've already done a hell of a job. Yes. Absolutely. At that point, you've already got national exposure. You make it to California, now you got world exposure. So... Man, and, and and with all my heart, you know how I feel about your music. I mean, I love your music. I love you as a human being and a brother. And uh, there's no stopping you, man. Well, like I, I they, 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 they won't know what to do with you, to be honest with you. They'll people. be like, man, what the <laughs> hell, man? Wait a minute, wait. Because there's never been a Jamaican artist. Well, never. You, you know, wait a minute, Bob Marley now. No, no, I'm talking. <laughs> Can't no. they get about? No, 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 I'm talking God, about. Brother. I'm talking about the uh, Star Search, uh, oh X my Factor. God, Star uh, Search. Bob Marley. He was like, "Hey, Bob, you gotta get up on Star Search." I see right, stars. Right, man. right, right. <laughs> Anna, you said you got a couple things you want to show us, and yeah. I got one thing I want to show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not Check sure. this out. We're gonna uh, need our mic guy for this. Hello. Okay. I'm gonna. Right, cool I'm gonna. Me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put it this way. Me and Anna, out of this panel right here, we are hardcore collectors. And uh, I have a shop at Oldsmar. You got to zoom in on these guys. Oldsmar Market off of Tampa Road. So uh, building D <laughs> West, booth number three. You'll see a rocking horse there. Everybody knows who I am. All you have to do is say Antonio. Hey, dude. And uh, so we sell all kinds of cool collectibles. Well, Raging Nerdgasm uh, actually lets people know what the toys are all about and tonight she has brought a couple of very cool troll dolls and she's gonna tell us about it all Take right it away. can, can you, you go zoom ahead in and uh, zoom in real quick now those of you guys who are like in you know yeah, your I'll, 30s I'll, I'll, 
You know what these are, especially your boy. These are battle trolls. Now yeah. we do have a great picture of more, more, uh, more battle trolls from our personal collection. These are some recent ones we acquired. If you can drop that picture, that would be awesome. All right, but uh, <laughs> battle trolls were made by Hasbro in 1992 to 1993. They're cool, they're crazy looking. Yes, they're pretty much to respond to the troll dolls. You guys remember those troll dolls that yes, were I do. everywhere? They were like going. Love. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. They were just everywhere. Mine, mine they were disappeared. Naked. They were all naked. All you could see was a belly button. I yeah. did, mine yeah, disappeared. Yeah. It was one of my regrets. Yeah. No. They were just I everywhere. I hung mine by the steering wheel. Oh my God. Yeah. So this pretty much they made like the void version, you know. So it, like, there's everything from superheroes to. He, Oh no, oh. that blows. That's Vata okay. Drag. That's all right. Go to Raging Orgasm and Flickr and look at Battle Trolls. We're one of the few people under that got photos of these bad boys in there, so that's cool. The but one anyway. right there with a the red hair that's me before coffee. Raging, <laughs> raging nerdgasm. Dot right. com. Now, here's a good treat for those of you guys who love Adventure Time, okay? And then this big show on Cartoon Network, Adventure Time and Regular Show, the two shows they got here is bravest warriors and this is also done by the guy who does adventure time however this has a more twisted humor can we zoom into this <laughs> one more time one more, one more time, time. shown man Hold we on. need the shown uh, man uh, do we got a pen he's eating a hoagie Hold no, on. No, don't take my pen okay i guess hey, hey, yeah. hey, hey. don't worry about yeah. it we do it can you zoom into these two comics there here for you go. go ahead but yeah, so he pretty much, uh, he has gone ahead and created a side story. This is more adult-oriented called Bravest Warriors. It only airs on YouTube, a channel called Cartoon Hangover. And oh. it is funny as hell. You literally, I think anytime this man makes a show, it is probable cause for drug testing. But it is <laughs> so funny. I'm like, you, you know what, whatever. I enjoy it. So. Bravest Wars is a new series. He's only doing it in comic book format and online because the content is a little bit adult. So if you have some more children, like that the would... old, the old, uh, like Cap, uh, Freddy, 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 Fat Caddy, and uh, Freak Brothers, and all them. Something it's, like uh, it's, it's along those Captain lines. Captain Sperm, and uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, he always takes us to the dirt, doesn't Wait he? Uh, Mister Mention, I swear. What's really man. funny is I've read those and I still have some of those. Oh, oh okay. I actually have them still. Sealed and you know what? Like I that. brought in something, and uh, it was an early Christmas gift, and I can't thank uh, Norman Lois uh, out there. I really appreciate it. But they can you zoom into this one here for me? Well, well, can you zoom in? Here? This is a 1964 original GI Joe. Original GI Joe and it's the 70 1974 fuzzy hair version. This is the first one that came out and uh all the accessories and stuff like that. But these are the kind of things you can find. Also I have these two things here. This is a 57 Chevy from a convention that i went to and that was in uh, hot atlanta i believe and it's autographed by larry wood and this is a treasure hunt a vw drag bus for all you collectors out there this is the type of things you can find at uh oldsmar market steel, off of tampa road still in the original rappers. yeah still in original wrappers that's right we deal with a lot of limited uh, editions you can zoom out again yeah. if you'd like so when um, going, what the hell yeah is the treasure so hunt? if you come out you actually on sundays You'll be running into Anna because mm -hmm. Anna's been coming out and helping out, and she's been an awesome addition to the store. And uh, yeah, I mean, you could find all your wants and needs as far as collectibles. Once again, Oldsmar Market, Building D West, booth number three with a rocking horse, rocking way on the outside. You cannot miss it. It's a it's a fun shop. It's a fun place to be. That is for sure. That is where, a cool flea market too. Where, where we don't, cool. where our where our visitors don't uh, cry, they smile. You know, yeah. we keep you from uh, from that. And I've got a huge sale going on: thirty percent off on any item in a store, or buy one get half off for the second item. So uh, that's going to go on even after the first of the year. I'm not doing it just for Christmas. It goes out for everybody out there. So I wanted to make sure everybody that, knows that it's off. Yeah. And of course, if you want a little wine, if you want a little vino, well, you know, we can fix that up too. You come down there See, and uh, check out uh, Arabello's. Uh, the order is you get the wine first. Yeah, and that's true. Then, then you go shopping. Right, right. Yeah, this you, is how this goes. Yeah, come out to come out to. <laughs> honey, I love you. Look what I bought you a troll doll for Christmas. <laughs> right. It what looks the like hell you in the morning. Yeah. 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 Hey, and, dude. 
you had some wine, man. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> and that's uh, Arabella's, Arabella's uh, Wine and Cigar Shop is located in Building H, and it's right on a breezeway, and we sell cigars and wines and uh, from all around the world. And he gives samples. And, and we also, our latest edition has been Cubine Coffee, and that's coffee with a purpose. Would you please tell them about that? Because we do sell the coffee. Cubine Coffee okay. is just a great great coffee it, it is good it is very coffee delicious with a purpose you know what i mean it's a uh, coffee that we help schools it's helped to give back scholarship to children in schools uh, you know it's a fundraiser for different schools also and uh, we also sell to stores we distribute throughout uh you know florida and um you know just link on to cubine.org and um get some more information from there or just try to contact, uh, or if you have a, an event you want to yeah. raise money for, give yeah, them a call. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Cubing Coffee, Absolutely. it's really good coffee, and it's coffee with a purpose. And they have uh, each brand has a, each different coffee has a cre- uh, name, creativity, um, aspiration. I mean, it's just wonderful, wonderful, good, eco friendly, organic Absolutely. coffee. Absolutely, can't beat it, and you can buy it at the shop. Yes, now, the good news is everything that you have heard here. You've got RagingNerdgasm.com where you can contact Tom and Anna to find out about collectibles. And you have MrMention.com to Absolutely. find out about his uh, journey. Well, you can't, his whole journey, but you can find out what he's doing and where he's going at Absolutely. MrMention.com. Now, he sells CDs, and you can do that. And I've, I, you can call in, and I'm going to give you my phone number again. This is my private line where you can contact me. Leave a message. If I don't know the number, I will not answer, so you have to leave a message. Ready? 727-418-1170. I'll repeat it again. 727-418-1170. Contact me. I will make sure that everybody gets the information and get you get the parties together. Or you can email me at Antonio, the number one, Y, the number one, at Hotmail.com, as it reads right here on this little sign right here on the bottom. And you can where al- it says that. You can always log on to my website. You yeah. can buy it directly through You my buy website. directly through uh, Mr. Mention, right? And, uh, on his real website. quick, real yes, quick, real quick. Don't forget, next week is Christmas. So if you log no, on and we're not on here, me. well, I know. Tell me you're about lying. it. You're and lying. And if you don't see us you're here, it's because we ain't lying. here. So you have to watch the rerun. <laughs> yes, you have to watch the rerun. But I think <laughs> yeah, we should, you we should the end the show by saying, Feliz Navidad. Uh, no, we want uh, Mr. Mention. Navidad. You got to play one more song for us. Oh, we got it. We're done. No. Feliz no, 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 no. We got, we got, yeah, we're good. Oh, no, no, pull that guitar. All right. He was on there doing the Easy now. He was going like that. And I was like, uh. I oh, I can take a hit. Oh, Anna, don't quit your day job. <laughs> okay, what's the song, and uh, what was your inspiration to write this song, Mr. Mention? I didn't write this one, you know. Oh, okay. Uh, are you going to play uh, one of those guessing games? You know, he got it the last, or he got close to it last well, I had time. I right. The Mansford Man did make the song number one, but the original writer was Bob Dylan. And then Bob Dylan came out a year later and played the basement version to show that he was the original writer. Uh huh. And they well, kept thinking, no, wait, Mansford Man. And no, all credit well, here we go. to Bob Dylan. Let's see what he's got. Once again, Andrew Reed, um, Andrew Reed, AKA Mr. Mention, take it away. <laughs> oh, I love he gypsy woman told my mama Way before I was born Got a man child coming He's gonna be a son of a gun He's gonna make all the women Jump and shout And the world wanna know What is all about we well, you know me right here yeah. Everybody Know that I'm here I'm a hootie coochie man Got a black hat on. Got a mojo too. Got an old brass kangaroo. 
I'm gonna mess with you. I'm gonna make you pretty girl. Lead me by my hand. And the world wanna know if I'm your hoochie coochie man. Well, you know I'm right here. Seven hour people on the seventh day, on the seventh month, the seventh doctor say, Oh, you were born for good luck. Now that I can see, I got seven hundred dollars, boy. Don't you mess with me, you know, I'm right here. I tell you, hoochie coochie man. Now you know what? I know that Elvis did that song. I know that Bob Dylan did that song. Yes, sir. I know that uh, Muddy, Waters Muddy Waters did that song, yes, and I believe Muddy Waters is the original. No, sir. No. No, sir. But I remember oh, Muddy Waters here we go. Made it pretty good. He went to the. He took well, it I mean, higher, you, yeah. you you had John Lee Hooker that did it the yep. best. John Lee Hooker did it too. That's right. But the song was originally written by Blind Blake. Really? Yes. Well, I did not know that. Yes. That is very cool. I love that song. Yeah. And you know what really made that popular was uh, that um, there was a movie with uh, uh, God rest his soul. Um, uh, 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 it was, uh, oh, what's his name? He played a bouncer in a bar. Uh, that totally narrows it down. Well, he, he played a bouncer in a bar, and uh, and his name is Patrick Swayze. There we go, oh. and they did, and they did that hoochie oh, coochie yeah. man Don, in one of the scene, one of the scenes. Don, where, uh, Don, what's his name? Don McLean? No, not Don McLean. No, not Don McLean. Uh, McLean. I, I know, I know. Oh, he was, he, he played that good on a slide uh, on what they call the uh, guitar that lays down. Yeah. Is that that's not a slide guitar? It's called a, uh, a flat, steel guitar. A, a, yeah, steel, steel guitar. Yeah, yeah that, that thing that was Angel, badass. He did that song Angel Eyes too. That guy. Oh yeah, that was great. That was great crazy. stuff. Great stuff. Anna, what else you got for us? Oh, that's all I got. Is that what you got for tonight? Yeah, pretty much. Well, I tell you what, I guess we're about ready to sign off here. Um, we can sing Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Yeah. I tell you what, last statements, tow truck. What would you like to spare? Say you got a minute to say whatever you want right, to say out there. out there. I want y'all have a happy and a safe Christmas. And remember, when it comes time to leave those little cards on top of the garbage cans and give the garbage man a tip. You that's know what? Right. That's true. Think I, about you know, it. I have He's done pick that. Up all I have done your that. Christmas crap. Okay, so think about the hard work that even those individuals do. I agree. No, Absolutely. Think of everybody. I've done that a couple of times. All right. You know what? I've actually done that. I've actually ran up to the truck and well, said, it's, it's can true. you help me? I, I said, gave him you know, McDonald's do you mind helping me? You know and I, I hand him a $10 bill and said, can you help me get this stuff out here? And like, Antonio, no problem, man. We'll take it away. My garbage man needs a card. He actually needs a card on the top of my garbage can. So, no, I turn around and give him one back. Wow, nah, it's cool. See, that's what I mean. I'm just saying, there, my brother's keeper. That's what it is. They're out there. So, it's for everybody out there, do the same. Yeah, right. Anna, what do you got? Uh, your last words tonight? I mean, you got a minute to say whatever you want. So, for every action, there's a reaction. Basic fundamentals of acting. So, if you guys are going to drink, do not drive, you know, be safe. If you screw a random person, wrap your tool. Don't be a tool. Don't be a fool. And definitely don't be a fool. And no lovey. Wrap no the lovey. rascal. Wrap just, the rascal. Just stay safe. And even just for one day, if you have family that you don't like, just learn how to forgive and enjoy them while you can. I, I agree. I agree. I, I agree. I, I agree. Because you know what? You never know. You just don't know. And that point was driven home just this yep. week, just last week yeah. you just don't yeah, no. know so if there's ever been anybody in your life man please tell them before anything because I mean, you never ball know now. 
Yeah, yeah. that's right. Hellraiser's Ball is on right after our show. And you want to stick around and listen to your rock and roll and all that kind of stuff. And are you done with uh, rock your, roll. your last yes, little statement? Rock and roll. Uh, Mr. Mention, you got a minute? Take it away. Say what you want to say. Because we won't be back next week. I this is. Because I'm happy. I sing. Because I am free. I let everybody sing on. Wow. Dude, I, I could just sit here. You know, I'm not kidding. Acapella, I could just sit there and just watch him, man. One word, sing, sing. inshallah. If God is willing, it shall be so. That's yes, us. Yes, yes, Time yes. Time for us to roll, man. And uh, on behalf of myself, I'd like to absolutely agree with everybody on the panel. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Uh, what is it in Africa? It's uh, uh, Happy Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Yeah. But uh, please do be safe out there when you're driving. And uh, I have to agree with Anna. Just be kind and love one another. We're breaking into a brand new year, 2013. And if the planet and the people ever needed to love each other, it is right now. Right now. Not, not tomorrow. I mean, not yesterday. Now, we all need to get together and stick together, and everything will work out. Um, as uh, Tow Truck said, and Mr. Mention has said before, it takes a village to raise a child. It still is real today. It's just, what are you willing to do to step up to the plate to make sure, whenever I say, how did we get here? And then we have good things to say about how somebody got to where they're at. There's a lot of heroes out there that, are, that you'll never hear about. They're unsung heroes. And uh, for the military, I wish everybody the best. Please come home. Merry Christmas, I know everybody. we want you to come home and stop all the fighting and all the killing. And, uh, man, I'll tell you what. We're not going to be on next week because it is Christmas. But we will be on that there week after. Yes, that's and right. uh, Mr. Chaos will be in. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tom will be in. Yes. Now, you you will be joining us, though, won't you? No, if he steps in, I step out. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Damn, there goes it's the like boots, that. guys. All right. It's oh, like that. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, no, it's, no, like no. That. it's like that. But do you that. really want both of us in I, here? Yeah, what do I got to do now? <laughs> Ain't gonna, no, 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 it won't no. be the same. No. no. no but once again, Tom, come on down. Once again, on behalf of myself, Tow Truck, Anna, Mr. Mention. More blessing. Peace, love, happiness. Take care of one another, and we'll see you next year. Be blessed. Peace out. Peace out. Oh, it's Todd again. Think we could live together. Start cowards. Bloodshed in a minute, you know. Bloodshed in a minute.